Hey, welcome back to Beer Geeks Beer Reviews. And today we got another empty glass. Now, what I say about an empty glass, man, we gotta put a beer in this glass, man. Come on, let's put a beer in it. Let's make this glass happy. And what better holiday staple to me should I put in there than other than Samuel Adams old Fezziwig ale? Man, I love the label change. Everybody can see the new label change if you already have it. That's pretty nice. And I still love, bam, label dating. Man, this is good all the way up till April. Now, let me tell you a little bit about this beer as I, you know, get into it and whatnot. Um, it, it was actually discontinued a while back. I don't know if anybody really knows about it unless they've actually watched the actual Samuel Adams review on this. Um, their, their little tasting tidbits. Uh, it was discontinued, and a year after it was discontinued, they went ahead and there was such an outcry for it, they brought it back. Now, I really do like this beer. This is a really good beer. I mean, I, I really, truly like it for the holiday seasons. Why? It kind of reminds me of a Christmas cookie. And here we go. Look at that. It was a little bit of a harsh pour, but it's all in there. Now, I know a lot about, about this because I am such a, you know, Sam Adams fan. Um, I do know right off the bat that they use orange peel, ginger, and cinnamon in this. And the aroma from it, it, it it's, it's actually a pretty good one. I mean, you can almost pick them all out, one right after another. Um, I do know that they actually use, uh, let me think, um, Hallertown Middle Fruit and uh, Tetanang Tetananger, if I'm not mistaken, um, is the hop varieties in here. Now, if you're just looking at this beer, I mean, we're getting actually a pretty decent carbonation, but this is almost like a mahogany brown. Um, you can just see the hues of like garnet and, you know, orange as it goes down. <sighs> Dude, seriously, if you, I, I have a, um, a color scale over there. I have a, a home brewer's chart and whatnot. If you actually look at it, this is almost like those colors right here are almost running through the spectrum of the colors. Um, I don't really have great lighting in this place. Uh -huh. Nope, it's not going to work. But anyway, um, the head of it, let me stir this around. I mean, it's it's nice frothy, that's for sure. Um, it almost smells like a spiced, oh, what do you want to call it? Um, sugar cookie. It almost smells like a holiday spice sugar cookie. Um, but that's just my opinion. Now... As for carbonation again, we, we've got a, a steady stream of uh, bubbles on the inside. Now, I do know that they don't list a lot of the stuff on here, but I do know that they actually do use some chocolate malts in here, and if I'm not mistaken, they also use like a Munich malt and their own special blend. Uh, I, I don't quite remember if they use anything else. Um... If, if I'm losing something, I'd actually have to look it up. Um, but, prost. You're definitely getting a lot of those spices. I mean, you definitely can taste that ginger. ginger and you can definitely taste that cinnamon. They're, it's nowhere near a spice bomb. So, therefore, if you're looking to, you know, slowly get into some of these holiday beers, slowly get into the ones that are using a lot of the, the holiday spices, I say start here. Number one, it's almost like um, a brown ale spiced with uh, a little bit of the chocolate malt um, and a uh, um, the holiday spices. Um, with that said, this is, uh, the review for Old Fezziwig Ale. 
from Samuel Adams. And the only other thing I can say about it is that it is comes in the 12 pack for their holiday collection. Um, if I'm not mistaken, it's the uh, winter collection pack this year. I know they keep renaming it. Oh. But it's such an easy one to go down. Look at the lacing. I say, if, if your glass leaves really good lacing, two thumbs up to the brewer because that is like brewer's art right there. Oh, this is so good. Mm. Now, right off the bat, before I forget, the chocolate malt, you're getting more of a maltier flavor there than you are like a chocolate flavor. Um, also, this is coming in at 5.9% alcohol by volume. Uh, I don't want to forget that. Other than that, man, I think I'm going to jump up out of here. This is my last beer for the night. I'm going to get ready to head off to work in the morning, man. Uh, I just wanted to end it on a um, a slow note, a easy note to uh, sleep on. And if I'm not mistaken, this should be review 200. So two thumbs up for making finally making it to 200. I wanted it to end with a Sam Adams beer, man. What a great one to get to. Peace, pros, deuce. See you on the flip side. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Who hasn't had this one? Please go ahead and leave a comment. If leaving your tidbits on what if you liked it, what did you like about it? If not, what didn't you like about it? I know I tried to give it to somebody else last year to get them into more of the holiday beers. They didn't like it. But then again. Long story short, they're a bud drinker. I was just trying to convert them. Anyway, I'm out of here, man. See you on the flip side.